You can also customize your binder properties by clicking on the edit menu and then clicking on binder properties. And when you do that, you can change the name of your binder. So if you named it something and you want to change it, and then maybe you want to create a brief description. And you can even use those tags or keywords that people can use to find your binder or find very similar themed binders. You can change the category. You could even change it so that you can have an access key. You can change your password right here, which is your access key. So if I wanted to change it so that maybe somebody compromised it or somebody was trying to get in and I wanted to uh, reset that password, I could. I could even add my name right here. And there's a couple other. The uh, color right here, you can change the uh, color of your binder and you can see what it looks like. So let's see what hot pink looks like. It's still red. Um, and <clears throat> when you are looking at live binders, a lot of times they have a cover that is a preview of what's in the binder. So I can even update the cover of my binder by simply clicking update binder cover. And what it will do is take a picture that's already existing in your binder and it will put it as its cover. And all you have to do is hit update.